Hey guys, who's got two thumbs and a crappy camera that ruined like four videos worth of footage? Not this guy, because I bit one of them off out of frustration. Hey guys, long time no talk. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep that intro because, I don't know, I kind of I kind of thought it was fun to shoot and I figured it would be fun to keep in a video. Um, but you'll notice that the setting is a little bit different in this part of the video and hopefully you could see a difference in quality because I got a new camera. So basically the, the theme of this video, um, I, I just want to open up and speak very candidly about uh, where I've been the past few months and, and why I haven't really posted any videos. And um, honestly, the video I originally recorded that um, you saw the intro from was sort of along the same lines, uh, but I, I feel like I got a little too long-winded and talked about, you know, things that things th things that I feel weren't really relevant to to the point of the video, and uh, I feel like I, I sort of made excuses for myself and you know trying to come up with reasons why I hadn't been posting. Um, many of those reasons had to do with the fact that my old recording equipment, um, something something th this webcam right here, I still have it right here. It's still a good webcam. It still works for for certain things, but something about it made it so that um, anytime I was recording a video, if I did too much movement, the the camera would would put too much effort trying to focus in on my hands, and uh, that would sort of corrupt the uh, the footage. And some of the videos I'd been doing, obviously, they're they're a bit more. Uh, you know, the last few videos that I did, for example. Uh, a bit more like time sensitive hot topics that were relevant at the time and not so much are anymore so the the amount of time that it took for me to edit made it so that by the time I was done editing those videos like the the topic wasn't relevant anymore and uh the thing is I spent so much time on a couple of them that i I honestly should have gone through with posting but um so something more. I don't know, something more serious, I guess, uh, sort of, sort of was clouding my, my mind at the time. And I get, I think that's sort of the, the theme. That's, that's the topic of discussion, uh, for this video. I think, uh, basically what had happened is I was taking so long to post videos that the time in between the videos that I was posting, uh, I was sort of losing, uh, motivation to, to post the videos. Essentially, I was having sort of a, sort of an identity crisis. You know, I, I put a lot of pride in my videos, and I put a lot of sense of self worth and self identity into being a, a, a video creator and um, or a content creator, I guess. And you know, the longer I went without actually producing those videos, the less the less of a sense of self worth I actually had. And, um, it was, it, it's not one of those things where like I put too much pressure on myself to, to make good content and, and burned out or whatever. Uh, cause you know, you hear a lot of situations like that happening with a lot of YouTubers out there. Uh, this was, this was a little bit different. I'll, I'll just come out and say it. A lot of it had to do with, uh, with my divorce last year. Um, basically my entire life since I was in high school, maybe middle school, um, a lot of my focus and, and my priorities were, were set around being, you know, some, somebody who, who makes people happy or makes uh, specifically a particular person happy in that, you know, I've always been a pleaser and I've always wanted to improve someone's life. And a lot of that was directed towards the one person I was with because uh, I was with my ex-wife since high school. So that's pretty much what, you know, most of my life was, was trying to reach those goals of, of being the best husband that I could be. Um, and you know, I, I did the best I could. And I think that, you know, I, I took a lot of pride in how, and how I conducted myself as, as a husband. Um, the problem with that, I, ne I never took that time to figure out, uh, what it is within myself that, that I could derive value from. It was always, you know, because as if, if it works for you, it works for you. And for me, it was working for a while um, until it didn't. And the problem with it was that 
uh, my my sense of self worth was completely reliant on another person. I had to find something else to put uh, my priorities into, and something else to derive self self worth from. And uh, for a while, I couldn't really find anything. I sort of spiraled a little bit. It was it was a really rough year as. Most people have gone through a, a big breakup or a loss like that or, you know, a divorce, whatever, uh, will know and be able to tell you. Um, but the thing that people didn't really tell me during that wasn't the grief from loss of a loved one or having somebody who's not in your life anymore. Uh, the hardest part was, was finding myself and finding my own value and sense of self-worth and, you know... I had to learn how to find that and not rely on another person for it. So I had to find it within myself. And the way that I did that was I leaned heavily into, into making videos. So although the amount of videos that I made decreased and I didn't make as many videos as often, I was putting a lot more effort into them and I felt very prideful of them. And I, and I loved the videos I was making and creating and, you know, I wanted to show them off to everybody. Um, while that was all well and good while I was doing it, uh, you know, I reached that point where it was taking too long to get each video out. You know, essentially when you when you derive all of your self-worth from something that you're not doing, not only is it is it, you know, lack of fulfillment and difficult to handle in, in that sense, it's also uh, lack of self-worth. The, the thing was, I was I was doing things that I was happy with in life and, and improving my life in ways that you know, were good for me, like going to the gym, uh, doing more at work and, and improving that, uh, and like going out and, and, you know, improving my, my social skills and my social status. Uh, but it, but it wasn't enough for me because I put so much, uh, emphasis on video creation that that piece of me was missing. And there was that hole in me, you know, that, that, that part that I originally, used to fill the void of, of my divorce, that part was no longer there. So I still had that void to fill. So I went through a few phases, uh, one of which was lacking self-worth. Uh, the second phase, which was uh, spiraling a bit into some form of depression, not as bad as it had been, but still but still enough to, to mention, you know, still relevant enough to mention. Identifying what it was that was causing this and trying to remedy it. And the remedy was was the hardest part because essentially it was like, okay, no relationship, there's no video creation, there's no uh, other thing that is like giving me a sense of purpose. So what do I do? Where do I go from here? I've found a more complete sense of self without needing to rely on being a video creator. So, so now I feel I can do this without needing to rely on it to, to feel whole. And I think that was really important for me. So now here we are. I guess I don't really know why I wanted to share all this, but I just had to kind of get it out there because uh, I don't know. I don't really know why. I guess if anybody else is ever going through the same struggle, you can you can watch this and, and maybe it'll motivate you to to, to want to do better. Maybe, maybe somebody will see this and, and, uh, it'll fulfill their need to make fun of somebody for getting emotional on camera. That's, pr that's pretty much it guys. Um, thanks for watching and, uh, hopefully this didn't scare too many of you away. Oh, this is too oh God. Oh, this is, oh boy. Here we go. Hey, it kind of looks, kind of looks like a heart. <laughs> I guess that means people are going to love this bit.